Hey guys, Nick on Aquamagna here, though not on Aquamagna for much longer. Sorry if the title was a tad clickbaity, but this is something I've been thinking about for a while. It is about time I addressed it. I'm thinking of changing my username. I've started to rebrand myself by changing my review series from Gaming Injustice to Game Stun Justice, and this seems like a necessary step towards completing that transformation. But first, we need some context. Going back to nearly a decade ago, when I first joined sites like DA, I called myself Nick in America. It seemed apt and had a neat ring to it. When I joined YouTube, I wanted something that was different but still had a similar ring and chose Aquamagna. The idea being that I'm literally on the planet Aquamagna and broadcasting from there to you people on Earth. And that was a cute idea, but I think it may have fallen flat. See, Aquamagna is a planet from Bionicle, the ocean world that most of G1's story took place on. Now sure, Bionicle fans know what Aquamagna is, so I'll still be Nick on Aquamagna on sites like BC Power and the TTV boards because it's relevant to those people. But to most people outside those communities, it's just a hard username to say, especially all clumped together as one word with no spaces anywhere. I can't count all the times I've been called Nick on Aqua Manga, or Nick on Aqua Man, or Nicaragua 2. And they even get the first part wrong a lot of the time. I guess I have myself to blame for this with titles like Nick on Plays or Nick on Reviews, but people have started calling me Nikon, and that's just weird. So yeah, my current YouTube username is confusing and it may be holding me back. So I'm going to change it at the end of August. I'll use the name Nick on Aqua Magnet in the title of the next two LEGO Rewind episodes since those are already made, but after that, I'll be Nick on something else. I mean, I'm not even sure how comfortable I still am with my troll face icon. It got a lot of laughs from my viewers when I first started using it, and most people seem okay with it, but I know it still turns some people off, and YouTube is basically the only site I still use it on. I was just making goofy faces in the mirror one day years ago, and it was fun, but now I'm worried it just makes me look like another internet asshole, and there are other more recent pictures on my face I could use that more I can really reflect who I am today. So it's not just the username, it's a few things. So bearing all of this in mind, I've decided to rebrand myself as... Sonic on Aqua Magna. No, never. I guess my first choice would be, and I know this is going to be an eye roll for some people, Nick on Planet Ripple? Maybe with spaces between all the words? Or at least the O capitalized? It's not just to promote my books, guys. It would create consistency. People who discovered me through my books would be able to find my YouTube channel more easily. And to people who don't even know what Planet Ripple is, they'll probably think it's just an English translation of Aqua Magna that's easier to say. I mean, I'd rather have my name attached to my own work than to Bionicle, something I don't own. Worst case scenario, they'll think it's a Waterworld reference. My other choice I'm considering is Nick On. Just Nick On. With a space, or maybe even a hyphen. This would be simpler and probably easier to use for basically anything. It's short and sweet and gets people asking questions, but I'm worried it may be a bit too gimmicky and blank. So those are my two choices for now. What do you guys think? At the moment, I'm working on the Odalis review and plan to release that on September 2nd, the next Saturday after LEGO Rewind Episode 4. That's when I'll start using this other name in the tiles of my videos. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of response this video gets. Toodles for now!